Hello dear students, welcome once again to our channel Maths in Minutes with Priya. Today we are going to do clip 75 part 4 of certs and indices. In first three parts if you have already watched, we have solved few problems using shortcuts. We have also arranged certs in ascending descending order. I have provided you one chart at the end of part 1 of certs and indices and I have asked you to memorize few powers of few numbers from 2 to 10. I hope you have watched all these parts and already started memorizing that chart and you must be finding that when you memorize those value how easy it becomes to solve indices problems. So today again we are going to arrange certs in ascending descending order different type of certs so let's begin today's part find the greatest among square root of 2 cube root of 3 sixth root of 6 and fifth root of 5 so first step is i'm going to write all these certs in the form of powers it becomes very easy that way Square root of 2 is 2 raised to half. Cube root of 3 is 3 raised to 1 by 3. Sixth root of 6 is 6 raised to 1 by 6. Fifth root of 5 is 5 raised to 1 by 5. If you have watched part 3, uh, you must be remembering what is our first step when we need to solve these type of examples. We take LCM of denominators 2, 3, 6 and 5. We take their LCM. And whatever LCM we get, we raise every number to this power. If you have watched this part already, part 3 already. But now if I raise every number to the power of 30, the first number will be 2 raised to 15. Second number will be 3 raised to 10 and again it will be difficult for me to compare. So what trick I am going to use here, look here. If I avoid this phi for the time being, if I avoid this phi, LCM of 2, 3 and 6, I know it is 6. And it will be very easy for me to raise this number to the power of 6. So for the time being, I am going to avoid this phi. Filhal thoda isko baju mein rakh dete hai. See what we need to find, we need to find the greatest one. So first I am going to find the greatest one between these three and whichever that number is that I will compare with this one and then I will find which one is the greatest. So for the time being what we will do? We will avoid phi. We will avoid this. So first let us compare square root of 2, cube root of 3 and 6 root of 6 that is this. LCM of 2, 3 and 6 is 6. So I am raising all the fractions to the power of 6. This one, this one, this one. All I have raised to the power of 6. So this is a raised to m bracket raised to n which is a raised to mn. So 2 ones are 2 threes are. So 2 raised to 3. 3 ones are 3 twos are. So 3 raised to 2. 1s are 1s are so 6 raised to 1 or 6 you can say. These three numbers are not equal to these three definitely not but I can raise them to same power and then I can find which one is the greatest. So for comparison purpose I am using this trick that I am raising every number to similar power 6. Please watch part 3 so that there I have explain this concept in much more detail so please watch that part don't forget so 2 cube 3 square and 6 these values are very easy 8 9 and 6 so i can easily compare 9 is the greatest now this 9 pertains to this number third root of 3 yahan se nikala hai humne these three numbers we raise to similar power 6 और उसका नंबर्स ये बन गया फिर हमने कंपेयर किया 9 इज द ग्रेटेस्ट व्हिच परटेंस टू थर्ड रूट ऑफ 3 सो बिटवीन दीस 3 थर्ड रूट ऑफ 3 इज द ग्रेटेस्ट ठीक है नाउ अगेन दिस नंबर इज स्टिल रिमेनिंग 
fifth root of 5. So now I am going to compare third root of 3 and fifth root of 5. Now in these three, this one is the greatest. So ye do to gaya. Humko greatest hi find karna hai. To ye do to chala hi gaya. So now we are left with third root of 3 and fifth root of 5. So I am going to again write them in the form of powers. 3 raised to 1 by 3, 5 raised to 1 by 5. LCM of denominators 3 and 5 is 15. So I am going to raise them to the power of 15, common power. So what do I get here? 3 1s are, 3 5s are. So 3 raised to 5. 5 1s are, 5 3s are, 5 raised to 3. 3 raised to 5 is 243. 5 raised to 3 is 125. Which one, which one among these two is greatest? This is greatest. This pertains to third root of 3. So that means among these four, third root of 3 is the greatest. So here we are using the same method that we learned in part 3 but only difference is instead of considering all four numbers together what we did for the time being we avoided we avoided this number and we considered only these three and finally we got our answer that between all four numbers third root of 3 is the greatest now you may think ki exam mein ye kya pura paan bhar bhar ke procedure karenge to hum time kaise save karenge ma'am competitive exam mein we must save time so here all these calculations that i have shown on paper you don't need to do all this rough work when you look at these numbers 2 3 and 6 tumko to orally hi pata hai ki 2 3 6 their lcm is 6 so orally you can raise them to the power of 6 this will become 2 cube 3 square and 6 so yahan tak to sab kuch orally hi aa jayega up to this step all this writing all this rough work won't be required if you are appearing for competitive exam because nobody is going to see how you have solved it but if you are in school and if you must show the steps only then you need to write everything otherwise in competitive exam up to this step everything is oral now when you reach here third root of 3 and fifth root of 5 again only two numbers are there 3 and 5 ka LCM bhi orally aata hai 15 when you raise you will know that it is 3 raised to 5 and 5 raised to 3 so you get 243 and 125 you will see that this is also oral calculation एक हद दूसरा लाइन लिखना पड़ेगा बस इतना पेज भर के कैलकुलेशंस दिखाने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है दिस सम विल बी सॉल्वड इन जस्ट फ्यू सेकंड्स जस्ट डू एवरीथिंग ओरली नंबर्स आर आल्सो वेरी स्मॉल एंड एवरी ओरल कैलकुलेशन इज पॉसिबल सो आंसर इज क्यूब रूट ऑफ 3 इज द ग्रेटेस्ट इनिशियली यू ट्राई टू राइट एवरी स्टेप ऑन पेपर एंड वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल स्टेप it will be just a cake walk for you. Fata fat tum oral kar sakoge. I can guarantee that. Our answer is third root of 3 is the greatest. Let's solve few more examples of different types. Next example. Arrange in descending order. 3 minus root 7. Root 17 minus root 15. Root 19 minus root 17. 2 root 3 minus root 10. This is slightly different than what we have been solving till now. So let's see how to solve this. First step will always be take every number under the root sign. So instead of 3, I am going to write it as root 9. Ye bhi root hai, isko bhi mene root hi bana diya. So square root of 9 minus square root of 7. Second number both are under square root sign so no problem third number again both are under square root sign so i'm just copying them as it is fourth number 2 root 3 when this 2 goes inside the square root right sign uh, sign it becomes 4 correct 2 root 3 is what 2 goes inside so in the square root under square root it will be 4 into 3 that is 12 so this becomes square root of 12 minus square root of 10 so now you have all four 
values all four thirds in the form of this square root sign now what you need to do is see the difference between them 9 and 7 difference is 2 17 and 15 difference is 2 19 and 17 difference is 2 12 and 10 again difference is 2 so whenever there is minus sign you will always get some common difference remember this and in such case when the difference is common the expression with smallest number has biggest value isko by heart karke rakho ek gaant band lo man mein ki expression with smallest number has biggest value now here which numbers are smallest 9 and 7 these are smallest compared to this so that means this one has the biggest value now we need to arrange in descending order so the number with highest value will come first descending means kya highest to lowest that is descending isme highest value kiska hai expression with smallest number has biggest value that means this will have biggest value so first will be a a will have the biggest value followed by iske baad kiska value hai smallest see smallest number has biggest value x smallest to humne dhoonda iske baad 12 and 10 ye aayega so root 12 minus 10 that will be number second so after a it will be d so a d iske baad 17 and 15 so b and then c so a d b c a d b c that will be your descending order तुम्हारा ऑप्शंस कुछ ऐसे होगा आंसर में सो विच वन इज द डिसेंडिंग विच वन इज राइट हियर ए डी बी सी दिस इज राइट सो योर आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ये तुम्हारा आंसर ए डी बी सी गोट इट सो वॉट वॉज द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी रोट ऑल नंबर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अंडर सॉरी वी रोट ऑल नंबर्स अंडर स्क्वायर रूट थ्री का बन गया रूट नाइन टू रूट थ्री का बन गया रूट ट्वेल्व सो एवरी थिंग वी कन्वर्टेड इन दिस फॉर्म एंड वी सॉ दैट ऑल नंबर हैव सेम डिफरेंस यू विल गेट सम्स लाइक दिस ओनली वेर देर विल बी कॉमन डिफरेंस सो वेन एवर देर इज कॉमन डिफरेंस एंड माइनस साइन हियर देन द एक्सप्रेशन विथ स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर हैज द बिगेस्ट वैल्यू दिस वन इज स्मॉलेस्ट सो दिस विल हैव बिगेस्ट वैल्यू और असेंडिंग है कि डिसेंडिंग है वो देखना पड़ेगा असेंडिंग मीन्स लोएस्ट टू हाईएस्ट डिसेंडिंग इज हाईएस्ट टू लोएस्ट इसमें इसका वैल्यू हाईएस्ट है सो ए फॉलोड बाय डी एंड देन बी एंड देन सी इफ दे हैड आस्ट अस असेंडिंग तो वो आता सी बी डी ए एकदम उल्टा असेंडिंग होता तो वैसे आता गॉट द आंसर Let's solve one more. Uh, okay, one more important thing. If this difference is negative, means instead of root nine minus root seven, they have given you root seven minus root nine, root fifteen minus root seventeen, root seventeen minus root nineteen, root ten minus root twelve. So all these differences will be negative. Correct? In that case. Expression with smallest number will have the smallest value. Ulta ho jayega, yaad rakho. So this line is true when the difference is positive. And generally they will give you positive only. Itna koi khadus rahega, aisa lagta nahi hai mujhe. But I am just telling you, just in case, agar negative hai to, expression with smallest number has smallest value. Ye yaad rakho, ulta ho jayega phir. Please remember this. So generally difference will be positive only whenever this difference is same expression with smallest number has biggest value ye yaad rakhna let's solve one more example arrange in ascending order 3 plus root 6 root 14 plus 1 root 10 plus root 5 2 root 2 plus root 7 so again the first step is similar we are going to write every number in the form of square root sign so 3 will become square root of 9 so 
थ्री प्लस रूट सिक्स बिकम्स रूट नाइन प्लस रूट सिक्स वन आई एम गोइंग टू राइट इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ वन सो रूट फोर्टीन प्लस रूट वन रूट टेन प्लस रूट फाइव एज इट इज एज बोथ नंबर आर अंडर स्क्वेर रूट साइन टू रूट टू वेन दिस टू गोज इन साइड स्क्वेर रूट साइन इट बिकम्स फोर सो फोर टू ज एट सो टू रूट टू बिकम्स स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ एट रूट सेवन एज इट इज सो आई हैव रोट आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल दिस फोर नंबर अंडर द स्क्वेर रूट साइन now what i'll need now what i need to do i'll take their sum because of this plus sign forget the square root sign just take the sum of these numbers 9 plus 6 is 15 14 plus 1 is 15 10 plus 5 is 15 8 plus 7 is 15 what do you observe here all sums are equal correct this is plus sign and all sums are equal in this case expression with closest number will have the largest value closest number means matlab nazdik nazdik ke number pass pass wale here which number are closest see 14 and 1 they are very far away but 8 and 7 they are very close ek dusre ke kareeb hai na saath ke baad 8 aata hai but ek ke baad 14 aane ko kafi time hai that means 7 and 8 are closest so what they are saying expression with closest number will have the largest value so here d will be largest getting it and which one is farthest sabse dur dur kon hai 14 and 1 so this will have the lowest value now we need to arrange in ascending order so lowest wala pehle aayega highest wala baad mein so lowest is b so we are going to start with b ascending will be b इसके बाद कौन सा है क्लोजेस्ट में फारदेस्ट में सॉरी वन एंड फोर्टीन इसके बाद है टेन एंड फाइव इसका बीच में ज़्यादा अंतर है सो so, बी के बाद सी सी के बाद ए एंड ए के बाद डी सो बी सी ए डी दैट विल बी योर असेंडिंग ऑर्डर रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला वेन दिस सम्स आर इक्वल देन द एक्सप्रेशन विथ क्लोजेस्ट नंबर्स विल हैव द लार्जेस्ट वैल्यू क्लोजेस्ट एट एंड सेवन है सो दिस विल बी लार्जेस्ट सो असेंडिंग में सबसे लास्ट आएगा डी और ये सबसे पहला आएगा सबसे मिनिमम वैल्यू इसका है सो बी सी ए डी दैट विल बी द असेंडिंग ऑर्डर सो रिमेंबर दिस टू थिंग्स वेन देर इज माइनस साइन टेक द डिफरेंस कॉमन डिफरेंस आ जाएगा एंड द एक्सप्रेशन विथ स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर हैज बिगेस्ट वैल्यूज इसमें से स्मॉलेस्ट कौन सा है वो देख लो दैट विल हैव बिगेस्ट वैल्यू एंड वेन देर इज प्लस साइन तो सम निकाल लो एक्सप्रेशन विथ क्लोजेस्ट नंबर विल हैव द लार्जेस्ट वैल्यू क्लोजेस्ट इसमें ये है सो दिस विल बी द लार्जेस्ट असेंडिंग पूछा है कि डिसेंडिंग पूछा है वो केयरफुली देख लेना क्योंकि आंसर एग्जैक्ट उल्टा होता है ascending is b c a d so descending will be d a c b so if they have asked you ascending or descending wo carefully dekh lena aur ye do baatein yaad rakhna so this type of sums also become oral ek bar ye do baatein yaad reh gayi then this type of ascending and descending order sums also you can solve in 10 seconds orally next example m and n are positive real numbers and m raised to 1 upon 4 is equal to n raised to 1 upon 5 then which one of the following is true when i first read this example i thought oh it must be really difficult how we will compare these four with help of this expression so i am covering this example here because it is very easy let's see how to solve this first step will be given expression is m raised to 1 by 4 is equal to n raised to 1 by 5 so i'm going to take lcm of 4 and 5 which is 20 and then i'll raise both numbers to the power of 20 with which i get m raised to 5 n raised to 4 so with this the help of this expression my conclusion is m raised to 5 is equal to n raised to 4 
and now it will be very easy for me to compare a b c d with this expression a is m cube and n4 whether they are equal they are asking us whether m cube and n raised to 4 are equal what do we have here we have m raised to 5 and n raised to 4 are equal with help of this can we conclude this one definitely not here is also n raised to 4 here is also n raised to 4 but what we have n raised to 4 is equal to m raised to 5 so definitely n raised to 4 is not equal to m raised to 3 unless and until value of m and n is 1 so or minus 1 but have they mentioned that value of m and n actual values of m and n have they given us they haven't given it to us so can we definitely say that m raised to 5 equal to n raised to 4 will imply a we cannot say it for sure we cannot say it for 100 percent so which one of them is true about a we cannot say anything what about b look here 5 and 4 if i raise both of them to the power of 3 i will get m raised to 15 is equal to n raised to 12 so yes i can definitely say this expression implies b is true so b is definitely true what about c 180 if i raise both of them to the power of 20 i will get m raised to 100 is equal to n raised to 80 so yes c can also hold true what about this 75 and 100 if I raise this to 15, this will be m raised to 75 and this will be n raised to 60, but not n raised to 100. So, D is not true. So, we can definitely say that B and C are true. See, I have solved it here. How C is true and how B is true that I have shown here. You can pause the video and see the explanation. So definitely B and C are true and you will get options something like this. Question is what? Which one of these is true? That is the question and your options will be something like this. A and D are true. B and C are true. Only C is true. Only B is true. But here B and C both are true. So you need to mark this. Abhi samjho gadbadi mein aisa ho gaya ki tumne dekh liya C true hai. C true आ गया तो तुमने बाकी कुछ देखा ही नहीं या B true आ गया तो तुमने बाकी कुछ देखा ही नहीं और only B को mark किया then you will get zero marks or even negative marks so be careful either B and C both are true so your answer will be this both are true B and C got it so be careful see the options only B है only C है B and C both है तो शायद दोनों भी हो सकता है तो B आ गया तो उसको छोड़ मत दो only B आ गया चलो B mark करो आगे निकलो ऐसा नहीं है so please be careful see the given options C भी दिया हुआ है तो see whether it is true whether this number C is true उसको थोड़ा carefully देखो otherwise your efforts will be in vain इतना सब कुछ तुमको आ गया but mark करते वक्त बहुत जल्दी हो गया ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए in the next clip, we are going to learn rationalization of certs and how it is used in different examples. So, please keep watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, Maths in Minutes with Priya, please do so. It's absolutely free. So, see you in the next clip. Till then, keep studying and take care of your health. Stay blessed. Bye for today.